let us take an example of anomalous Gman effect. So here we are given this transition, we have to find out which in Gman effect will be applicable for this, whether normal or anomalous. This is the transition. We have to see the multiplicity here. The multiplicity is 2s plus 1 is equal to 2. If s is 0, then it is normal g man effect. If s is not equal to 0, then it is anomalous g man effect. So from here, we can calculate the value of s here. So the s comes out to be 1 by 2, which is not equal to 0. So this is the case of anomalous Z-man effect. So let us find out the S, P, J values for 2D, 3 by 2, we have S equal to 1 by 2, corresponding to D state is 2, J is 3 by 2 and for 2p 1 by 2 s is again half p value is corresponding to p is equal to 1 and j is equal to 1 by 2 so for j is equal to 3 by 2 and 1 by 2 here j is equal to 3 by 2, we can find out the values of mj which are equal to minus j to plus j. So we have minus j to plus j minus 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2. Again, for the other state, we have j equal to 1 by 2, 2 states, j is equal to mj is equal to plus half and minus half. We will use delta mj is equal to 0 plus minus 1 to show the transitions. Without magnetic field, only one line. With magnetic field, let us say for delta mj is equal to plus 1, we have 3 by 2 to 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 to minus 1 by 2. Two lines for delta mj is equal to 0, half to half, minus half to minus half. Here delta mj is equal to plus 1, here delta mj is equal to 0 and for minus 1 we have minus 3 by 2 to minus 1 by 2 let me calculate minus 3 by 2 minus minus 1 by 2 so it comes out to be minus 1 so the second one is minus half to plus half minus half plus half we have minus 1. So these two correspond to mg is equal to minus 1. So if you face any problem like this, you can find out whether it is anomalous g man effect or normal g man effect, you can find out the transitions accordingly. So with this we are finished with the anomalous g man effect. See you in another lecture with another topic. Thank you.